Hello, Hello and welcome back to the Guild Pact. More of the Spark is here and if you're new enough to the Magic the Gathering like we both are, you might be trying to dart around the internet, trying to pick up the pieces of a decade old storyline, trying to catch up with what's going on so you don't feel left out. You've more than likely stumbled across the official War of the Spark trailer and seen a ton of things you just don't really understand, a ton of characters and creatures you don't know enough about or anything about. So today we're going to try and change all of that, get you up to speed immediately with everything you need to know leading into War of the Spark. We won't be going too deep into any individual characters, anything that's not necessary on the sources for the information that we put into this video is in the description below. Let's get started. In the official War of the Spark trailer, we see a bunch of characters and creatures you might not know or know enough about, and so we're going to start here. But it's important to first know that Planeswalkers used to be immortal a very long time ago, back in... 2006! 2006, yes, very old. Magic had a set called the Time Spiral Block. During this block, crazy rifts in time were going to rip the entire multiverse apart, so a group of Planeswalkers got together to close the rifts. All of the Planeswalkers in the multiverse became mortal and lost some of their power as a side effect of this and that super pissed the Elder Dragon Planeswalker known as Nicol Bolas off. Nicol Bolas is the youngest but most powerful of the seven Elder Dragons, mm. wants unlimited power over the entire multiverse. He's a real bad dude really so bad. he immediately started to try and regain his powers and become a god! Big god! So he spent thousands of years forming his master plan. Now that we've talked about our main villain and his motives, let's talk about the other characters we've seen in the trailer and talk about how they fit into what's happening. The zombie army, known as the Dread Horde, they are an eternal undead army of the greatest warriors from throughout Armenket, the realm conquered by Nicol Bolas himself. These undead are coated in a strange metal found only on Armenket called Lazotep. Lazotep. These allow them to travel through the Planar Bridge. In the trailer, the patrol in the streets of Ravnica finding planeswalkers in order to take their spark and kill them under the command of Liliana. Liliana is a necromancer that got locked into a demonic pact and throughout the years, a bunch of her planeswalker friends known as the Gatewatch have been helping her defeat the four demons she was locked into a contract with. Unfortunately, as the last of the four demons was defeated, they found that Nicol Bolas, who was the broker of the contract in the first place, ended up in control of a soul. Liliana now has a contract running through her veins and her enemy Bolas now controls that contract. Now that Nicobolas has got her soul in a contract, the other members of the Gatewatch actually think that she's betrayed them, including someone called Gideon. Gideon is the dude with the black blade, and we see him initially getting overwhelmed by the Dread Horde in the trailer. He's another planeswalker, part of the Gatewatch, and once fought alongside Liliana, and was last seen on Dominaria right before Nicobolas swept Liliana away. Swept away. Also seen in the same scene of the trailer was Dak Faden, one of the multiverse's greatest, or depending on who you're asking, yeah. worst thieves. He has the ability to use psychometry and can absorb the magic memories and uses of an artifact. He's travelled the planes to avenge his loved ones, but now resides on the plane of Ravnica. Currently in Ravnica, the Guild Pact yeah. has been broken and all of the guilds are at war. An is it planeswalker named Ral is working under the influence of Nicobolas to create the Planar Beacon hoping that with Bolas, they can usurp the current leader of the Izzet League known as Niv Mizzet. He created a device on Ravnica called the Planar Beacon and sent a message using it across the world, warning all planeswalkers of Bolas' intentions to take over Ravnica. But really, it's all still part of Bolas' plan as he wants all the planeswalkers to come rushing into one place to try and stop him for the rest of his plan to work. On the plane of Ixalan, an artifact called the Immortal Sun was trapping planeswalkers inside the plane, as its force won't let anyone leave the plane that it's activated on. No one. Gatewatch member Jace and another planeswalker, Varaska, searched for it and found the Immortal Sun, but were stopped by Tezzeret, who whisked it away with his planar bridge, giving Bolas access to its power. This also allowed Jace and Varaska to now return to Ravnica once they received Ral's message. Mm. Now the planar bridge is a piece of technology that allows someone to move non-living matter between the different planes in the Magic Multiverse. It was created by one of Nicol Bolas' minions, known as Tezzeret, on the plane of Kaladesh we spoke about earlier. Tezzeret currently has the power of the plane of bridge inside of himself, and from the trailer, it looks like the power has been used already and the plane of bridge is already open in Ravnica. So this is where Nicol Bolas' plan comes full circle. 
He's got the Dread Horde commanded by Liliana. He's got the Planar Bridge to move them all from Armanket to Ravnica. He's got Ral's message to lure all the Planeswalkers directly to Ravnica from all across the multiverse. Mm. And finally, he's got the Immortal Sun to trap them there as soon as they arrive. So what is he going to do with all these Planeswalkers? I'll tell you. <laughs> it turns out that while Bolas was in Dominaria, he discovered an ancient spell and it was known only as the Elder Spell. The Elder Spell. The Elder Spell is a ritual that harvests Planeswalker Sparks and gives the user unlimited power. So now we know his true plan to gain ultimate power. And remember, the Planeswalkers are now mortal, and so taking their spark actually kills them, which is why we see Dak Faden straight up fading in the trailer, as his spark is removed from him and sent straight to Bolas. <coughs> Are you okay? I'm okay. All right. I just lost my spark for a quick second. It's fine. <laughs> so, Chris, how many planeswalkers will die? Most of them. Will Bolas gain ultimate power? Probably. Does any of the story make any sense no! now to you? Good. Wait. It just about makes enough sense for us to now try to explain to you. We are super excited to continue talking about the story of War of the Spark, so please let us know in the comments if you want us to go into any extra details on anyone or anything specific. If you do, we'll be sure to make a video on it for you. Yeah, so thanks again for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the Guild Pact. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Goodbye. So no. basically, quick roundup, like, Nicobolus is Thanos and, like, the Gatewatch of the Avengers and this is all just endgame. <laughs> Chris! I was still rolling. Cool. <laughs>